Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I'm going to do a Marilyn book spotlight. This book, this week's book is Marilyn on Location by Bart Mills. Uh, this book was released back in 1989 by Sidgwick and Jackson. It's by Bart Mills and basically it is an overview of Marilyn's career told in um, pictures and words. Now today with all the pictures on the internet the pictures in here aren't that rare but at the time when I got this there were some very rare pictures in it. Um, so basically you know he's got um, quotes as, as chapter titles so for instance chapter one is the best you can get from me. Um, that she had no meanness in her, a really great dame. So they quotes that either she said or that people have said about her as the chapter titles. And they have a nice picture of Marilyn with the chapter that's um, Diamond Zero Girl's Best Friend. And it just tells you, it starts off with, rap parties were always the most awkward. At the end of shooting any Marilyn Monroe film, the cast and crew weren't in any mood to forgive and forget. Hours, days, sometimes weeks of waiting around for Marilyn to arrive, to get ready to act and then to remember her lines would have pushed even those who started out feeling sympathetic towards her into a mood of black resentment, leading to a desire never to work on one of her films again. Today, 27 years after her death, so you can tell how old this is, most of those who worked with Marilyn say that the final product was always worth it. After all, few in the audience for Marilyn films cared how difficult the films were to make. When her performance reached the screen, her co-workers generally said they'd forgotten all the difficulties they had in dealing with her. Exasperation and irritation softened, softened into acceptance and even admiration. After her death, it was even harder to remember how roundly she was disliked by those close to her. She was a very difficult person to work with because she wanted to be the best. She said, the best you can get for me. Because she remembered when she was a little girl going to um, the cinema, she wanted to give the audience their money's worth and she always did. So it starts with her career with Scudder Who Good Scudder Hay and Dangerous Years and Ladies of the Chorus which is a lovely Columbia picture if you've not seen it do go check it out it's only like an hour long if that and it shows you very early Marilyn singing very very nice film. So and it just it's basically just tells the story oh that page is stuck together where's oh, something there that's better um, and it's illustrated with lots of black and white photos from her films. Like I said at the time, some of these were quite rare, especially the later ones around. There's some like hot one. Let me find them. If I can find them. There were some I remember seeing. Um, and you've got, you know, there's all these stills from some like hot. And the cover is from it's some like it hot. So it's a really, really nice pictorial um overview of her career. There's uh filmography, so there's a list of all her films, and then there's something called selective iconography, which is a few of the instances in which Marilyn has been used Marilyn's image has been used in books, plays, movies, songs, and adverts from 1955 up until 1988. So the first thing would be a Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter, which was a play by George Axelrod, which Jay Mansfield actually starred in the play and the film version. It's a very good film. TV series of How to Marry a Millionaire. And then there was the 1963 compilation of Marilyn's Fox work called Marilyn. Right up to uh, The Untold Story with Catherine Hicks. Some shops that opened in Bloomingdale's in 1983. Marilyn Musical, which was in the West End, starring our lovely late Stephanie Lawrence, who was a fantastic actress and singer. Um, Beyond the Legend, which is a beautiful documentary, Remembering Marilyn, which was the first documentary I ever saw and so it still remains my favourite. So this is a, an interesting book. There's been so much these days and so many that have superseded this. this these are the two pictures that were very rare when this book came out that I hadn't seen before around the filming of some like it hot um but today i mean there's nothing new in here it is an old biography it's an old you know but it, it does focus on her films and her acting so it is a nice book like i said i love the photographs i love all the photographs i do love photo books um they're not in color that is the only downside on this book they're all in black and white apart from the cover shot 
but yeah, I mean, it's worth picking up if you can get it for, if you could get it for two or three pounds, I would say get it. Um, if it is trying to, trying to get you to pay 10, 15, don't because there are better books about her film career out. Most notably, if I can find it. Oh, I think it's all the way up there. Is it all the way up there? Yeah, Blonde Teeth, The Sizzling Screen Career of Marilyn Monroe. That's a much better book. But yes, Marilyn on location by Bart, Bart Mills. 1989 Sidgwick and Jackson. Pick it up if you can find it cheap. So that's it for this uh, Marilyn book spotlight. I will be back soon with another one and I'll be back soon with some other bookish goodies. See you soon. Bye.